Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we have 1 Thessalonians 2.12. Walk worthy of God, who hath called you unto his kingdom and glory. So, just trying to walk the walk. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, we're totally hooked. I don't have anything in the basket. I have picked this up again. And this is the Around the World Inspired Blanket. And I have one side of the pink on. I have a half side ready to go. It's not like the, I just have the little squares. But it's taking 13 to do each side. So I have one of these. But it's not all I've been working on. So um, I do have plans to start the uh, South Down Cross, which is right here. And it will go on the wheel here in the next day or so in the evening, um, I probably will start spinning it. And then I have been working on two other things. Uh, and I'm going to have to move the camera to show you. Um, let me... okay. So, I wanted some pretty simple work shirt and let me turn it okay so i made this one no i didn't use a pattern i did it the old-fashioned way the way my granny did and that's she used to use newspaper but i have brown paper and so i uh made this just made the four sections um it's really simple i didn't even take the sleeves off um this one happens to fit just fine here. Sometimes when you do a shirt, um, and I'll use this one as in, an example, if you don't put the sleeve on as a separate part, this, the under pit doesn't raise right. This is loose enough and that, that it does just fine. Um, I put in a couple of darts in the back to make it look, you know, so there's a reason there's a pin there, but it's not in this shirt. The only thing I have left to do is to hem this shirt. And I did make it with, um, I did make it with, uh, a little bevel side you can see there, you know, so it looks a little bit dressier. Um, that way I don't have to tuck it in if I don't want to. It can be tucked in. It looks decent underneath my black jacket, all of that. And then... I also worked on this. This is my Halloween costume. Um, oops. I literally have two seams left to do. The, the one, this, and then the waist. So I have the one that connects it. And then I like to, once it's laid flat and get it where I want, put a top hem in it so that it all lays properly. So I have this. Um, the only thing I have that I don't really like, and I haven't finished this. This is going to be cut off. Um, I have the seam right here, and this will be a hook and eye and come across, and it'll stop. I have a little bit of bubble in my um, zipper right there, but it's a Halloween costume, and I'm not really going to worry about it. Um, it is what it is. So my whole costume won't cost me 20 bucks. Um, I've already figured out how I'm going to do my hair. And so at work, they say it's a pretty big deal there. They all dress up and blah, blah, blah. Um, so it is what it is. But I did also when I picked up this material, and, and that's almost a mauve eggplant. Um, but I also picked up this green and I got the last of the green. These are just my little scraps here. Oh, I made one other thing I'll have to show you. Um, but this, and I'm going to make another shirt, um, probably this style, but I'm going to take and do the arms a little differently and see what I can do to play with those. The reason that I'm doing that is that, um, I am, I am, uh, 
making my paper patterns so that I don't have to buy one. I went and priced a pattern and they're like $20 now. That's, I mean, I got this material right here. I got two yards and it literally was five ninety nine dollars a yard plus 40% off. So for less than $10, I can make this shirt. I have thread. I have um, the needles. I have the know-how, you know. So for less than $10, I can make this. Why would I put in a pattern for $20? That makes that a $30 shirt. And yes, you you can use the patterns again if you know how. It just, I don't know. But I'm not going to spend $20 on a pattern um, when I can pretty much make my own, you know. So I am going to make one with this. Uh, <laughs> so I decided I didn't want to waste the scraps. Now the scraps are not enough to make anything yet. Although if I was smaller, it would be. Okay, but I'm a pretty big person. Um, so as you can tell, I had a hefty little chunk left. I made a little pair of shorts, but the body from, I have a little bit of an extra tush here. And so for big people, you know what I'm talking about. Um, this is not enough to come up over. So I'm going to wait and see if I've got enough of this and I'm going to put a band on it. So it will be, you know, it'll have a green top with this as the bottom. And I'll have a little pair of night shorts. Um, they're probably quite in the, in the world, you know. But instead of wasting material, I just thought that I should probably make something out of it and get the most out of my money. So this $5.99 shirt with 40% off is giving me a shirt and a pair of shorts, or half of a pair of shorts. And same thing with this. So... Um, yeah, you know, I think I spent $20 at Hobby Lobby getting this and this. It was like 17 something. And what do you do? You know, it's like meh, 17 bucks. You can't go and buy a good dress shirt at anywhere for $17. Um, it is what it is. So yeah, All right, I'm going to move you guys back over here. And hope that this will do what I need to do. There we go. That's kind of froze up on me. The picture did. So I hope I'm in the thing. All right. So that is pretty much what I've been working on. Um, RJ's just been rodeoing. Nothing really exciting going on. I saw where um, the, I think it's the CRRA finals. He's sitting second in the CRRA. Or is it the ACRA? No, CRRA. He's sitting second in the CRRA. So that's good. I Means he'll make the finals in October. Um, that's seven Ada. So I might make a road trip down there and go watch him rope. Um, in the fields, I've pretty much just done away with the garden. I moved the peppers up to the front porch. And they're blooming, but we'll see if I get any peppers off of them. If I don't, then they're gone. <laughs> um, it's just too hot, too much. And we're still got August and September to go. You know, we're halfway through August and or three fourths of the way through August. Uh, in the farmhouse, my personal life, let's see. Work has just been trying. Um, I know that sounds terrible, but. Uh, the position that I have didn't exist before. And some of the duties that I have used to belong to other people. And they're having trouble letting go of them. And I talked to one of the ladies that trained me. And she's the supervisor. And told her what was going on. And she says, they're treating you more like an assistant instead of a colleague. And I said, e exactly. Um so I've been told by my bosses to do a certain job and the bankers used to do that job. And I have had four out of seven bankers come to me and say, don't do that job. Well, you guys know me and I'm not going to do a job halfway on anything. So I 
just, I will do my job. And that's what I told her. And I said, but just know that it's being met with resistance. And she says, I think I'm going to have to step in and handle that. I said, well, that's up to you, you know. So I'm still enjoying the job. Tomorrow is Thursday. Worm goes for uh, his annual vet appointment. I will be dropping him off with Shelby. She's the manager of the clinic. And then she's going to have his appointment stuff. And then Deb, the one that babysits him for me, she works there half day in the morning. So she will take him home with her. And then I will pick him up on my lunch hour and bring him home. So he'll have a day there at the clinic and all that. And, um, this sounds really mean and just really petty, but I didn't want to deal with the lady that her and I clashed with. So I'm taking him in on a day that she's not there. So, um, yeah, it is what it is, <laughs> but he'll have like his anal glands checked. He's going to get some shots and get his physical, uh, and, uh, Get his toenails trimmed. So, yep. But other than that, I think everything else is doing just fine. I, oh, the, I'm sorry, we need to back up in the fields or whatever you want to call it. Um, I guess still in the farmhouse. But the pond, I went back down, I breaked up. I have moved snakes. Um, so, they're not water moccasins, but they are snakes that eat frogs and um, fish and such and they uh, they they seem to be inundated at down at the pond and the pond is actually drying up we are in drought conditions and the pond is kind of just you know shriveling up the ducks still have plenty of water it, it's not but it has pulled back from the banks quite a bit and roommate says it's lower than it's been seen in a long, long time. So I'm taking that opportunity to clean out sticks and stuff from the pond. So, uh, yeah, I went down there a couple of times with a rake. I fell in once, just saying, not perfect, but did fall in once. Um, I got a lot of large branches out of there, a lot of little sticks and just raking it up. I'm going to put it in a pile in a low spot. And then I'm going to burn it as soon as we get uh, the right conditions. It's got to rain before I can burn anything. So, um, but I have done that. The ducks are loving it. While I was down there, now I've seen, I think, some raccoon tracks or some skunk tracks. We smell skunk every once in a while. The raccoon, um, I haven't really seen him, but there's quite a few dead up on the highway, right off the driveway a lot. So, yeah. But my major excitement here is I saw deer tracks down there. I think I'm going to get a small, I looked at like walmart.com and I found like a little $20 um, game cam, trail cam. And uh, it's got the infrared or infant night, inflared night, whatever it is. Anyway, it can take pictures, and I think I'm going to go and pick that up and then just drop it to a tree down there and see what happens and see what kind of animals are going down there. I just really think it'd be cool. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that. But other than that, just a little sewing, just a um, little growing pains at work, a little crochet, but really, I'm finding that I'm running out of time a lot. Um, this weekend went by really fast. I've got to get RJ's bags done for Christmas. I'm going to do him. I'm also going to do him a shave kit. It's one thing he doesn't have. And I think that's a lot of times why he doesn't shave on the road is he doesn't have like a bag. And so I'm going to get him a little uh, mirror that just stands up. Um, and then I'm going to get him razors put in it and a little shaving cream to put in it and uh, just a little shave kit that he can use uh, while on the road. But I'm going to make the bag to match his uh, rope bag. So he'll have that. 
And then, of course, my daughter's bag is done. Um, I, I'm just not, you know what I mean? It's just, I'm working on things, but I seem like I am just going slowly. Just, you know, not making really any progress. Um, the shirts for work. If those pants turn out okay, um, and if they're free to move, I'm going to try and find like some double knit, but some thin double knit set and make my own pants too. Because the pants that I have, that one pair was $70. And I didn't give that for it. I gave less than $20. I got, I, I had a girlfriend with me and she had coupons and double this and I don't know what all. And then... Um, I applied for their, uh, store credit card. And so that got me $20 off. And I think they came down to like, it was less than $20. I want to say they were 19 something, but I think she had a 60% off coupon. Plus I got the $20 off for applying. And then I got it down to 19 pants are expensive slacks for work. So I'm actually like, I love sewing, so I am going to continue to do that and just go from there, you know? So, uh, yeah, I'll get this one hemmed and then I can wear it to work and I'm good to go. Uh, and like I said, the pants, I'm going to, it, those fit, but they're a little tight in some areas. So I'm going to adjust and try and do it with a stretchy material. So anyway, all right, I'm going to get off here. I've got to go to work and I still got to go put my face on, do my hair. Uh, but yeah. So deer at the pond, sewing going on, some spinning going to happen. A little crocheting, just this, I got an oil change in my car, <laughs> you know, just life, a lot of little things for life happening, but nothing to write home about. Sorry. So I hope you guys have an amazing week. Um, hang in there and just walk God's walk. I will talk to you next week. Bye.